everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today I want to introduce you to the three very special turtles. Two I have been planning on, and they're surrendered to me, and I've been prepping for them and planning them them for two months. They're redder sliders. The other one is yellow belly that just happened to come across on a Facebook page that I felt very touched by the story and it's a very deep and personal story that has affected my life in the past so I wanted to do something. This young man is lost in addiction. I don't know if you know I'm in recovery for um, drugs and alcohol and it was important to me. So I have three new turtles. Let me introduce you to the three turtles and I'll explain the difference between a, a red air slider, Cumberland, yellow belly, so stay tuned. And today I want to introduce you to two red air sliders. They were surrendered to me today by this amazing young man who is going off in his life. He's had these guys since they were hatchlings, probably over seven years. And let me introduce to you Sonic and Rascal. So I don't know if names dictate behaviors, but this is Rascal. Let's see if you can see him. He was hatched out in the summer of 2011, which means this summer he's going to be eight years old. Uh, she's going to be eight years old. You can tell by her tail. I'll wait till she's more comfortable in her tank and her claws. But she's an amazing red ear slider. And I'm going to put her in this 55 gallon tank that has a basking spot up here and a secure lid because apparently Rascal likes to get out a lot. So he, I'm going to keep calling him he because the name Rascal reminds me of he. Although the claws look, yeah, the claws look small. The, looks like a female rascal. So I'm going to put her in her enclosure and see how she likes it. And I'm going to secure the top. You ready, baby? You ready? Can you see that? Beauty pie, hi. I'm going to bring it a little closer, but first, I'm going to make sure she cannot get out. Get on. There we go. Let's get the camera up a little closer. The next one. Is yes, that a silly question? Cause yes, because they're like turtles. This is Rascal. I just put him in, and it's a female red ear slider. And this tank is very, very small for him because now he's seven, almost eight years old. He would need a much larger tank if it could be kept inside, but knowing that he's going out in the pond, this will be just fine. She's up, Rascal is up in the basking area. Oh, how graceful. Man, this flare is killing me. Let me see if I can do something about the flare. I'm never going to get that mama one, so nice try, but. And if you notice over here, which the fish will figure out pretty darn quick, there is a hide that they can all get in and the turtle can't get in. So they will figure that out soon enough. And the second surrender I got is Sonic. They could have been from the same hatch, I'm not sure, but, but they were both hatched in the summer of 2011. Let me show you. Another absolutely well taken care of specimen from the same young man. Look how beautiful. Now, since I have 55 gallon tanks and 40, I'm not going to put them both in the same tank. Um, that'd be a little bit of a bio overload. So. She is going to go on this 40-gallon breeder up here. 
So let's see how she likes it. Let's go take a look. Again, this is Sonic. She's very chilled. Oh, maybe we can measure her. See that? Seven and a half. She's a seven and a half inch beauty. Isn't it amazing? And she's seven and a half years old. I don't think they correlate, but she's going in this 40 breeder. Hopefully you'll be able to see her. Turn on your little basking light. That didn't turn on. We'll work on that. Oh, cutie pie. They just look so big compared to my little yearlings. They're huge. There we go. Lights on. UVB's on. Now these guys will actually be going into the pond. But first I want to observe their behavior. <laughs> I really want to observe their behavior for this reason. Do you see her upside down, baby? You're so funny. Yeah. Do you want to see where your basking area is? Oh, she's looking at the light. I think she wants to go to the light. I might have to help her. If she can't get up that ramp, I will extend it. But there is a decoration right there, so if she needs a little help jumping up, Okay, so now she's up in the basking area, which isn't that hot yet because I just turned the light on. But I'll measure it and then reset up the thermostat. I unplugged the thermostat when I tore this tank down. But now that I'm going to use it for the next three or four weeks, here she comes. Yeah. Not so graceful. We're going to have to do something about that. <laughs> she kind of came down sideways. <laughs> I think I'll have to take all the decorations that are up because keep in mind what I had up there was two inch turtles so I'll have to take down those decorations and the rocks and stuff like that that I had up there I'll keep the camera on her for a little bit to watch her behavior as well So there you go, that was Sonic and Rascal. And I will keep you updated on them, especially when they go outside. Just introduced you to Amazing Surrender when I got a Facebook message in my local Aquarium Club Facebook page that somebody was really looking to be home their Redder Slider. I don't, I'm not taking in Surrender, especially not Aquatic Turtles, but I wanted to get this little guy. And it's a she. And I thought it was a red air slider, and when they gave him to me in a box, he's a yellow belly. While I was editing this video, I remembered how confused I was about the, the different kinds of sliders and what was the difference. You had the red air slider, the Cumberland slider, yellow belly. So they're all basically just subspecies on, depending on the region. Okay, so the family of turtles is the Emidid, Emididae, I think it's pronounced Emididae, and the genus is Trachymus scripta. The red ear slider is the elegance. And the yellow belly is the scripta. And the Cumberland one is known as the trutsti. Now that I've absolutely butchered those names, <laughs> I think that's why we call them sliders. So we got the red ear slider, the yellow belly, and the Cumberland. And they're native to the Americas. They, get, they live about 30 years. They're, the females get between 8 and 10 inches. You can see mine are almost 8 inches and the males are a little bit smaller, six to eight inches. So they're just subspecies. A slider is a slider is a slider, kinda. Let me introduce you to Gina. This is Gina, and as you can see, she's a yellow belly. And she is absolutely beautiful. She's going to go in a 40 breeder until it gets a little warmer outside. I think she's about the same size as Sonic and Rascal. Yep, she's a full 8 inches. 
So I did want to show you something. When you get these little docking stations, this is perfectly fine for a hatchling. These magnets were strong enough to hold up three, four hatchlings, no problems. There's one of these in the corner back here. But if Gina got on it, it's not a basking station at all. There you go, baby. Now as she goes down there, I'll be picking off these styrofoam because I couldn't get them. She tucked them inside her. This is a last minute surrender. I did not set up her tank ahead of time. Unlike Sonic and Rascal, I have known for months that I was getting getting them and had plenty of time to set up enclosures for them. Well, those are my three new turtles. I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to show you the updates when they go outside into the pond. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.